That is so neato. They're magnetic. Neato. Why? And we have snacks up here in case we get hungry. Woo! Oh. Oh. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. It's Melissa and Kate. <laughs> and this morning we went off to a fall preview event at Sephora. So it was for VIB Rouge, I think, VIB and VIB Rouge members. Uh, they open two hours before the store normally opens. So you could yeah. go in and shop. It was a lot of people there, but... Okay, so we have three Sephoras where we live in close proximity. So we kind of do the rotations on which stores we go to for events like this. So we went to the larger of the three stores, and I actually preferred it a lot better. Yeah. But that's just me. If you live in this area, we went to the one in Tyson's Corner. Yeah. So. We already applied all the products that we bought, so they are on our face uh, right now, and I'll insert clips as we start talking about them. And a little bonus feature for you all. Oh, yeah. We have something cute at the end. Something so cute at the tuned. end. Yeah. Okay. So as part of this promo event, if you spent $50, you got this. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Well, clearly we both got one. <laughs> clearly so. we both spent $50. <laughs> uh, these really cute little makeup bags from Sephora. Wow. These are like embroidered on. Super cute. These are really adorable. Some of the cuter bags that I've received from Sephora. So yeah. yay, Sephora. You did a great job with that promo. So Fenty Beauty launched yesterday and it is currently available both online and in the stores. So I was pretty excited to actually take a look and touch and feel the products that she has in her line. For those of you who don't know, this is Rihanna's uh, new makeup line. Kate and I both purchased the foundation. We did. I don't know. Oh, here it is. So I'm just going to say this. I had no idea. I hadn't seen anything about the Fenty Beauty line before walking into Sephora. I knew that they had a large range of foundation shades, but that's all I've heard about it. So 40. 40 different shades. With all different undertones. Mm -hmm. It's pretty phenomenal. And uh, the box says medium to full coverage for all, long wear, light as air. And it's supposed to also be sweat proof? Humidity I think it's, proof? I think it's sweat proof and oh. humidity proof. I'm not sure. GTS. You know what that means and you know what that means. <laughs> Google that. Ish. Ish. <laughs> and let me just tell you, she looked awesome. She had that yellow outfit on. I don't know if any of you saw it. There was a lot of press coverage. It was like a yellow ball gown skirt and a yellow long sleeve t-shirt. That woman can really do no wrong. She looked fabulous. And then she uh, walked down the middle of Times Square and she had a different outfit on. They opened the Times Square Sephora at midnight and there were tons of people there shopping and she actually rang up the first customer, which was super cute. So on the Sephora website, it says that the coverage is medium, but it's, you know, medium to full. I think it's buildable. Um, skin type sensitive, normal dry combination oily, and the finish is matte. Oil-free formula is made with climate adaptive technology that's resistant to sweat and humidity and will not clog pores. So wherever you are, it's going to work on your skin. Back to the colors. Here's the bottle. I'm going to hold yours up in mine. I actually really like this packaging. It's and very slim. It's going to fit very nicely in my makeup bag, which is... I'm already crunched for space in there, so... So, I'm in shade... 190. 190. I'm and, in shade 100. Which is the lightest shade. Guess which one is which. It looks particularly light on my the back of my hand. I am very fair. Very, very fair. Let's blend it out a little bit. I think it's a little light for me at the current moment, but this will be great in the wintertime when I am so, so fair. Yeah, so maybe you wear your horn this way. For a little bit longer. For a little I bit longer. I actually really like how lightweight this feels. It feels like I'm wearing nothing on my skin. I was just going to say that. It, it is, is where they say light as air. Yes. It is crazy. I can feel the born this way on my skin, mm -hmm. which doesn't bother me, but this is crazy. I feel like I have nothing on. That's what I'm wearing on my face, what you're wearing on your face. I applied it with a beauty blender. I did too, although I didn't have my mirror, so I was not prepared, but so it started to set, but you can still blend it out once it's... It does set pretty quickly, which I'm not opposed to that because, you know, you're getting ready in the morning and you're like, okay, set, 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 so I can do the next thing. So, anyway, uh, so far yeah. so good. I'm anxious to see how this wears today. Yes, and even with my rosacea, 
and nothing's ever going to cover that. I think my rosacea is just bad, that my pigmentation is. But I think, you know, if I didn't have that. And it worked well with your regular concealers. Yeah. So, so that's good to know. Yeah. So the next product I picked up is this Matchstick Trio, which is a concealer, contour, and a highlight. And it comes in a three-pack. I got the, sh the shade range that's light. Light 100. And it's magnetic. three sticks that are magnetic. So you can also you can do, whatever you want. do them like this. And one of the things I really liked about them, they all have these little labels on the bottom. So they, you know, if they're in your bag, you can easily identify what's what. I did use the concealer under my eyes. That's this first one here, this first swatch. And I found the best way to apply this for me was just to use the tip of my finger, warm it up, um, because I felt, I didn't like the way it felt just drawing under my eyes, but uh, I thought it blended out really well. How do my under eyes look? They look pretty great. Pretty great. And then I also applied the contour and a little bit of the luminizing stick as well. Contour. Luminize. So, since I didn't buy any eye products, I know, who am I? I didn't buy any eye products. Uh, I did use the luminizer and the contour on my eyes, just to give a very natural eye look, and then just uh, finished it off with a little purpley um, pencil. I think it looks good. So it's a very natural look, but I like it on my eyes, and it doesn't feel like sticky. I don't feel like my lids are sticking together like they do sometimes with cream products can really leave you feeling tacky. I got one of the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighters and this is in Metal Moon. It's almost like translucent but it ha it's very shimmery and I think it's really pretty. Just Hashtag pale girl highlighter. Yeah seriously. And if you're really a pale girl. Yes and what I really love is that the mirror is gigantic so I really like this. I have to say, overall, the packaging is wonderful. It's really pretty. And it's so pretty. I also picked up the Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer. And it says the color is Fenty Glow. It's really pretty. We both have it on right now. This is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I think it's meant to be a gloss or a lip topper. I think you can use it anyway. This is just my natural lips underneath because I wanted to see how that looked. And that's just your natural lips. Yeah. So on me, it looks a little bit more nude because I don't have as much color in my lips as Kate does. Mm -hmm. She's a little bit younger. She has a little more color in her lips. But I think this could be awesome over a really pretty nude like lip liner. And it does yeah. have a little bit of shimmer in it, but... Yeah, it's a lip luminizer. I don't feel glittery. I just feel no. just right. It's not tacky. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty. It's really comfortable. I'm actually kind of upset that I didn't buy this, too. So I feel like... This makes a really great like office look. I really quickly want to go back to this product. The one thing I do love is that it is, this writing is big. <laughs> I love that. I like being able to Thank you very much. read it. So the other thing I picked up was one of the new blushes from Makeup Forever. This is it swatched here. I'm wearing it. And what did I say the color was? S214. S214. I think this is going to be a really pretty like fall shade. Okay, and my last product that I got was the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent Light. Every YouTuber who I've watched who's used this, I, I now agree with them that this is the best powder I have used. But yet again, I'm used to drugstore, so anything is going to be better than that. <laughs> um, I'm actually really happy with this, and I'm excited to see how long this lasts me. Um, the last thing I got was I picked up my birthday gift. The tart one. The color is in Parte. Pretty. And then this Very pretty. little lip paint is in the color, I think it's birthday suit. Oh, that's pretty. You might not like that. <laughs> <laughs> She's hoping. <laughs> that's super pretty. So I actually thought this was a great little birthday gift. I was excited about it. I know my birthday's in May. I have bought something from Sephora between now and May, and they did not automatically put it in my order. We found out they got new systems, and it doesn't always tell them. Right, so I think you have to... She Ask. was talking about something about us down another screen or something, something, so... And you have to ask at the counter if you're there in person. You do. So here's the other little thing I learned today. 
little Sephora tip. If you have points and you want to buy a point perk, if you're in the store, you do not have to buy anything. You can just go wait in line, go up to the counter and say, I want to cash in this point perk. And you do not have to purchase anything. And you can do up to 10 at a time. I did not know that. If you're shopping online, I think you do need to... Uh, you can only use one. You can only do one. Yeah. Just a little interesting tidbit. That's what our cashier said. She was super nice. She was super cute. And very chatty. She was. But you know what? But awesome. She honestly, was not judgy at all. I love it. So. Oh, for a surprise. Okay. I'll be right back. My brother loves Halloween. Loves it. His favorite holiday. So we went all out for Halloween for my niece. This might seem a little excessive. I really don't care. <laughs> but these are all the cute little things we picked up. Everything is from Target, and... Because where would we be without Target? I'm sorry. Okay, so this is a combination of both her and I buying stuff. Whoa! Um, she's already received one piece of clothing because she, my mom was babysitting her, and she got every outfit, even their spare outfits, dirty that day, so they have one of those, but right. it was this just is a everything cute else. little t-shirt that said... Monsters are my BFF. Adorable. Just a little... Really cute. T-shirt. There's okay. a theme here. So the first one that we're going to show is this one that says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And it has these cute little pants with this little skirt. Oh my God. So cute. And these and, are like little pumpkins and stars. And they can mix and match these with other things too. It doesn't have to go with this, but how cute, right? This I really is just like. a little t-shirt. It says happy Halloween. And I'm pretty sure it glows in the dark. Some of these letters. Yep, oh, they yeah. Do. They're glowing. So... These ones. Just a cute little t-shirt that um, can go with these little pants oh, that's... Oh God, that just are like ghosts and spiders and candy and oh these are fangs. That's a That's hilarious. And then there's another little t-shirt that we bought. It's not as cute as the other ones but it's okay. These can go with anything. And it's a nice a little, little t-shirt. A long sleeve t-shirt. Long t-shirt. So Ben's goal is to dress her in Halloween themed clothing the whole entire month of October. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that My goes. My sister-in-law isn't so convinced, but that's okay. We'll save these for her. Yeah, I'm going to hang them here. Okay. Um, the next thing is we got her, oh, these are long sleeve body suits. I didn't even see that. This one says Mabu Crew, and it has just cute little, <laughs> it's a little mummy, pumpkins, a little ghost spider. Really cute. So cute. You know, we're all about the onesies. Oh, yes. All right. Then there's this little outfit that says, I love my mummy. Mm -hmm. So it's a bodysuit. With little mummy pants. With mummy pants. Oh, how hilarious is that's that? That's so cute. And then this one is another long sleeve little bodysuit that says, my first Halloween because it is her first Halloween. And it just has a little guns with little bats. He loves bats. So. So cute. Adorable. And then we found this, it's like a little sweatshirt. Oh my God, open her mouth. With this little zipper. And it's lined with a cute little print. It actually matches these. Oh, it does. Yeah. That's so they could make this an outfit if they wanted to. How cute is that? Love this. I love this. And she could layer this. This could just be a little sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. They're going to the beach later this month, so maybe they'll bring this with yeah. them. And then I got one little sleeper. That little has pumpkins. Little pumpkin feet. How cute. I had to get these. They are like little booties, <laughs> little booties, and a little like pumpkin, pumpkin hat. hat. Okay. Literally. Honestly. We have to accessorize. It's cute. Then we also got two other little outfits. That's the rest of the Halloween stuff. For her, we got this cute little outfit that has little leggings with a little built-in skirt. We have to do everything built in now that she's crawling. Yeah. And then the last little outfit thing that we have is this little like dress set with the little It's a little high bell sleeve. A little high low. A little high low with some leggings. That have buttons on them. They have buttons. So cute. Target, yeah. you're, you're the bomb.com. I love that. And then I also picked up a little pair of moccasins because she is starting to walk. Not walk, but try to walk. She will be walking very soon. She needs um a little something for her feet. So that's all that we got. That was our little surprise. Just something fun. Little Jelly Bean's not here, but... She's not here, but... She's cute. We'll see her later on this weekend. I showed them a... She is crawling, standing. She pulls herself up on everything, including my pant leg. And 
her first tooth just poked through. So um, that wraps up our little haul. Yeah. So I'd like to know, are you interested in anything from Fenty Beauty? Were you excited about the launch? Mm -hmm. Or is it a no-go for you? And are you getting excited for Halloween? They've already picked out her costume, so we'll see. They have? She's going to be a White Walker. <sighs> I don't know. Okay. She has the blue eyes for it. Is that from Game of Thrones? It is. I don't watch Game of Thrones, so. Thank you so much, and we'll see you real soon. Yes. Goodbye. Bye.